Hey guys, Remote Animation here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this 3D animation using a mobile phone on the mobile app Prisma 3D in 3 hours. And before I start the project, I draw a quick sketch of the two main shots that I'm going to be having in this animation. And what you're looking at here is a boy sitting in a train. And finally, I started the timer and the first thing I did was to model the chair that Jeffrey is going to be sitting on. And when I was done with that, I exported it to Prisma 3D to add in the frame on the legs of the chair. And getting the curves on the metal frame wasn't very convenient as Prisma doesn't still have a spin tool, so I had to do it all manually. After adding in the last bit of the frame, I gave it a slightly reflective material and duplicated it for the other side. Then I added in a wall and a simple plane for the floor. And to make the rendering look better, I switched to night mode and added in some light. Then I added a cube to the floor so it doesn't look flat. And extruded the walls to get out that window shape. And 10 minutes in, this is what we have. But this window was looking too boxy for my liking so I decided to curve things up a bit. And without a bevel tool, I had to do it the hard way. And I wasn't gonna repeat this process three more times, so I used the mirror tool. Then I scaled down the duplicates of this wall to get an inner frame and worked on the object materials a little bit to make things more reflective. And we needed some poles in our scene, so in this case, we're gonna use cylinders with a slightly reflective material. Then we made some object duplicates and expanded our scene a little bit using the mirror tool. But still, we needed to make the scene look a little more detailed, so I added in some unnecessary props and objects that look like they are supporting the structure even though they are not and then we added some more poles by making duplicates of the original pole and then we brought in a transparent cube for the actual window and we compensated for the lack of soft shadows using shadow textures then i hid most of the scenes so i won't experience any lag when using the character and what i was going for here was a basic sleeping pose and 30 minutes in this is where we were at and if you're wondering why his arm is like that there is gonna be a bug on his lap and then we moved on to modify the materials to make things look darker and more reflective and i didn't like how the floor was looking so plain so i added in some cubes to mix things up a bit and then we modeled in a simple curved roof and using scaled down duplicates of that roof we managed to add in some extra detail and then we made some more copies and then we needed some light objects and something to hold the objects up and for this i used a cube and cylinders then i grouped up the entire scene so i can make a symmetric copy for the other side side and finally the back of the train this wasn't very hard to do as it was just a flat surface with a door and with a duplicate of the door frame i managed to make a window and then with cubes i added in some extra detail and then i duplicated the scene a couple of times because it was looking a little too simple and also some more light and after that i hit the entire scene to make animation a little more convenient and then i remembered i haven't still modeled the bag so i just modeled a quick bag for the scene the bag wasn't really necessary but it just made the scene look less empty and then i switched to low quality render so i can have higher frame rates when animating and then we did a lot of basic camera animation and a lot of complex character animation it wasn't exactly complex but without inverse kinematics it wasn't very convenient and one hour and eight minutes later this is where we were at the animation we were going for was to have a character wake up in a train and my productivity eventually went down over time so I just decided to make the train explode for no reason and I have a tutorial for how I made this explosion effect and I'll place the link in the description. And back to the animation, an explosion would have been complete without some light. So I added some orange lights and animated the intensity to match the explosion animation. But the explosion animation wasn't convincing enough so I animated the door to actually pop out. And then Jeffrey is gonna have enough screen time to actually react so I animated him running away from the explosion. And then we made the bug actually fly away from him and refined the animation a little bit. And the camera was a little too flowing so we needed some camera shape. And to do this we simply grouped the camera and made it have some subtle movement in form of animation. And then we copied this and pasted it throughout the entire duration of our scene. And 1 hour and 34 minutes in this is where we were at. And that's when I noticed the train didn't actually look like it was moving. So I modeled a quick wall on the outside gave it some minor details that we can easily pick up for relative motion and then i made an animated loop of the wall moving past the window 
and then I copied it throughout the entire duration of our animation and also copied it for the other side of the train too and it was looking beautiful but it can be better so I added in a dark roof on floor and made the distant part completely black so I don't have to model anything then I added in some shadow textures to ease in this darkness and after adding some light objects it was looking better and finally i rendered the final clip took it over to a light motion for the final edit and that was how in one hour 56 minutes using prisma 3d i managed to turn this to this